As the electric car industry is rising, the demand for large lithium batteries is going up as well. We all know lithium is one of the most reactive elements in the periodic chemistry table. Lithium ion serves as both the soul of EVs and all mobile devices in your life. You can use them in electric cars, laptops, cell phones, and many other devices. Although this is the current trend, lithium batteries have some major downfalls. For one, it only lasts for a while, especially when you use them to power homogeneous V8, V12 engines with high horsepower. Join us in this video as we uncover the new game-changing sodium ion battery that will radically alter the EV market. Stay till the end to find out more about the major companies producing sodium ion batteries. It is said that 3.1 billion electric vehicles will be out by the end of the decade. With each car having about 10 tons of lithium in its batteries, this problem has raised many concerns in the electric industry. In addition, as EVs are becoming more mainstream, the demand for lithium ion batteries has also grown exponentially, which has inevitably caused a shortage of raw materials needed to produce these batteries. But not to worry. Sodium ion batteries is the next generation of battery technology. It's far more efficient and safer than lithium ion batteries. These liquid-like metals have paved a bigger success in the energy industry. It might just be the next big thing. Scientists have now created a sodium ion battery with significantly increased storage capacity. The results, published in Nature Energy, offer a good blueprint for a battery that could one day fuel electric vehicles and store solar energy. The Energy Department's Vehicle Technologies Office funded the research in the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, with the imaging research performed at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. So where did the idea for these batteries come from? The quest to produce sodium ion batteries started with the need to produce cheap and better batteries to replace old lithium generation batteries. To do that, one of the top research energy institutes in the world opted for a new electrolyte more common and equally reactive as lithium, hence sodium ions. You can find sodium ions in seawater, and unlike lithium, they're not exactly rare. Sodium ions can be used in just about any application, like electricity or where there needs to be higher levels of concentration, such as when making soap or detergent products. To make sodium ion batteries, you need to gather the right materials. Electrolytes are crucial to the proper functioning of a battery. They're created when salts are dissolved in solvents, creating the movement of charged ions between a battery's positive and negative terminals. These batteries are made using sodium ions as electrolytes. A second method involves using a solid material called perovskite. A second method involves using a solid material called perovskite structure, instead of liquids like those found in traditional lithium ion cells. This makes it possible to create larger volumes without increasing costs significantly compared with standard solutions based on metallic oxides. To better understand how these will change the future of the EV industry, let's take a look at what makes these batteries so special. With a Prussian white cathode and a hard carbon anode, sodium ion cells aim for a specific energy output, 160 watt hours per kilogram, close to lithium iron phosphate. Sodium ion batteries are also cheaper than lithium ion batteries and safer. Sodium ion cells perform better across a wide operational temperature range. They're safer than the widely used lithium ion cells and have lower energy density and cycle life. The operation of sodium ion cells is identical to that of lithium ion cells. And because they don't require lithium, they are protected to be at least 20% less expensive than lithium iron phosphate. However, the expense of the separator and electrolyte may make using sodium ions unaffordable. Batteries that use sodium ions will be more environmentally friendly because they don't contain any volatile organic compounds or heavy metals like lead or mercury. Additionally, sodium ion batteries can withstand extreme temperatures above negative 40 degrees Celsius without damage to their performance or lifespan duration. This makes them ideal for use in very cold climates and where other types of energy storage would not be able to function properly due to freezing conditions. The quality and price of these batteries depends heavily on the raw materials used to make them. For instance, 30% and 46% of battery pack costs are attributed to materials for lithium iron phosphate and lithium manganese cobalt oxide cells, respectively. It is anticipated that sodium ion cells will be less affected by lithium, cobalt, and nickel prices. Even with a 10% increase in the price of all materials, the cost of sodium ion components will only go up by 0.8% while the cost of LFP components 
will go up by 3.2%, and NMC-532 components will go up by 4.6%. The price of sodium ion components is predicted to be stable throughout the next decade. As the cost of raw materials increases, we anticipate that future price reductions for battery packs will be less steep than in previous years. They may alleviate the existing strain on the supply chain for LFP and NMC battery cells by introducing lithium-free sodium ion batteries. With all these perks, we expect these new technologies to become the soul of the EV industry in many years. However, there are some disadvantages to this new technology, mainly in terms of efficiency and cycle life. When using sodium as electrolytes, the electrochemical reactions that keep the energy flowing slowly degrade with time, and the battery eventually dies and can't be recharged. Currently available sodium ion battery technologies make this process significantly quicker than lithium ion batteries. To solve this issue, researchers at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory developed a new form of an electrolyte. After 300 cycles at 4.2 volts, more than most sodium ion batteries recorded before, the lab testing showed that this novel design is robust. Also, the film's ability to let sodium ions through while protecting the battery's overall health is crucial. Existing electrolyte processes for making sodium ion batteries also causes the protective coating on the anode to dissolve over time. This protective film is stabilized by the new technology developed by the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory research team. The new electrolyte forms an ultra-thin protective layer on the positive pole, or the cathode, which then helps the unit's overall stability. While sodium ion batteries have the potential to deliver higher energy density than lithium ion cells, they also have lower specific power and do not last as long. With this said, it is important to note that these issues are manageable. Scientists are working hard on improving these metrics. Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited intends to combine the high energy density of lithium ion cells and the low temperature performance of sodium ion cells. 90% of high capacity retention at negative 20 degrees Celsius into the same electric vehicle battery pack as the AB battery pack. Experts has recognized its benefits, which include resistance to temperature fluctuations, stability, and long cycle life. We expect they will be useful in the future development of some light-duty EVs and grid energy storage. These researchers have stated their intent to continue developing this battery technology's architecture. According to their findings, the team is experimenting with alternative methods to lessen the necessity of including cobalt, which is poisonous and expensive if not recovered or repurposed. To sum it all up, sodium batteries are not perfect. It depends on the battery's design, matching the correct cathode and electrolyte is crucial, and it's trickier still for high capacity batteries like those used in cars or grid storage batteries, designed to release energy slowly over time to be completely fireproof. When it comes to the car industry, Dyson, Tesla, BYD, and BMW are the companies that have already begun producing sodium ion batteries. But it's not just big car makers getting in on the action. The list of potential notions is endless. Panasonic is also working on a new type of battery using this technology. The future is bright for EV batteries and sodium ion batteries are just one step closer to becoming the standard. We're expecting these batteries to be widespread within 20 years. It's a new technology that we still need to test and develop further. Still, if it can solve some of our problems with lithium ion batteries, it could be an incredible shift in transportation as we know it today. What do you think about the sodium ion battery? Do you think it'll improve the EV industry? Let us know in the comments section. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comments section.